Hey guys, so one of my most viewed videos here on my YouTube channel is more about Visual Studio Code. So again, that's why I decided to film another video. This one is a basic one-on-one -on -one feature in Visual Studio Guide. So we will talk about Visual Studio Terminal. So if you are kind of confused how the terminal works in Visual Studio, I'm going to show you the process and how you can configure, how you can add, and how you can remove a terminal into your Visual Studio code. So again, this is a beginner's guide. If you are intermediate or you are advanced, I don't think this will be the right video for you. And yeah, anyway, if you're interested, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how without further ado. One, two, three. Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you how you can install your other terminal in the Visual Studio. So right now, um, I want to install the HubSpot local in my computer, in my Visual Studio, so I can expedite my uh, front-end development process. And I just forgot how that works, so I am reviewing my YouTube videos. But at the same time as well, I'm going to teach you how you can add additional terminal into your Visual Studio. So first is we need to open the Visual Studio code. Because what I want is I want to add the Get Bosch terminal. So, because right now, if you go into the terminal and the new terminal, you'll see that the available terminal is only the CMD or like the default terminal on our computer or in Visual Studio. So, I'm going to kill that terminal. And then first, let me create a folder in here. So, probably I can put it on the D version. So, right click, let me add that HB blog. So, like that. And then um, let me open that one. Also, you can use the CMD command command if you want to. But yeah, I'll just use that. I mean, let me just click that file and then open. And then select the folder that we just created in here. And it's called HP blog. Okay, now I want to add, as I said, a terminal. So if you click the new terminal in here, you'll see that there's no new terminal, or I mean, the terminal is new. So how you can do that? First is you just need to click this plus icon in here and you will see all of your available terminals. So there is a PowerShell, there is a command prompt, Okay, so the command prompt is the default one. There is a JavaScript debugger. Now this get bash is not available if you did not install this one. So you need to go into the, because I, if I log in here and type in get bash, you'll see that I have this get bash in here. So you need to install this get bash in order for you to add it on your terminal. So simply go into the git bash Go into your, your Google and type in git bash and this one. So there is an options here. Um, like if you are in an iOS or in a Linux device, then um, simply select what your operating system and make sure also you select your right um, bit. So I am using 64 bit for my desktop. So yeah, so that's how it works. So let's say it is advantage of using um, by the way, so if you want to add an additional terminal, um, let me just remove this one, okay? So right now, our terminal is just the CMD or the default terminal. And I'm going to follow these instructions in here. Like, I want to install the CMS um, platform of HubSpot. So I have already typed that out. So npm install this one. So this is the syntax for that. So if I go in here and type in terminal thing, you can select what would be your preferred terminal. Now, what is the disadvantage of this default terminal? Default terminal cannot read like a simple syntax. Let's say if you type in clear, I believe it will, you know, they cannot recognize a simple command line versus on other terminals. If we add another terminal, so let me just delete this one. So if I click the drop down and then I select another terminal, which is git bash. Again, git bash will only works if you download this one. So let's say I'm going to type in clear. It is, by the way, the clear one is when you type in like, let's say I'll just throw some sample like things in here. Like I have, you know, I, I wrote something wrong. 
So in the command line, in the default command line, this one, the clear command is not readable. I like Bash. Bash has a lot of reserved keywords that you can use to expedite your, you know, um, working on the CLI. But actually, the advantage of command terminal or the default terminal is it will help you to memorize all of those reserved syntax versus on depending on Git Bash. But if you are lazy, I mean. I just prefer to use git bash. So again, if you want to delete a specific terminal, simply click this one, or you can even split that terminal. Like you have this one and then come up with this part of like, if you want to split the terminals, you have the bash and then you also have the CMD. So that's how it works, guys. This one, again, will depends on what are the terminal that you have installed. PowerShell, you can also use the PowerShell. I think PowerShell is default terminal as well. So I just use Git Bash for that. And for now, I'm going to use Git Bash. And then I'll just copy paste the syntax and put it on the Git Bash terminal to install the HubSpot CMS platform. So it will take couple of minutes depending on how big the file is but yeah that's how the terminal works and if you have any questions or concern feel free to leave me a comment on the description below happy to check that out thank you